Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Today I've got my old dirty apron on. No matter how much I wash this, some of these stains just don't come out. But anyway, welcome back. Today, from the title you will see we're doing, I say we, like it's me, it's just me in the kitchen, for Foodie Friday today, we are doing a big, huge, massive freezer meal. Well, at least it's massive for me freezer meal prepping and cooking video. So if you don't know guys, I'm going for an operation pretty soon and I wanted to have all these meals ready so that my husband, who is not, um, how can we put it nicely, blessed in the kitchen. He's Thomas can't cook. He works hard. He works a lot. Some hours he works 60 or 70 hours a week. He works really hard and I really appreciate that and I show my love by cooking but he can't cook. To make sure the kids and me are actually eating something um, tasty, <laughs> edible, what shall we say, whilst I'm recuperating from my operation. And I'll put the link to the video, to go this side or this side, I can never remember. I'll put it up there so you guys can go and watch it. Um, just talking about my operation. But pretty much I'm gonna be off my feet, literally. Um, I'm having an operation on my ankle for a while. I wanted to make sure we got lots of food, lots of meals that my husband can just put in the, the oven or put in the instant pot, whatever. So this is my list and my plan for today. So today I'm planning on making mac and cheese. I'm gonna make it vegan. We are not vegan, but we do eat a lot of like vegan foods, if that makes sense. And I'm not using a vegan cheese. You guys will see how we're gonna do mac and cheese vegan style. And then I'm doing my own version of baked ziti. It's totally my version of baked ziti. It's not really how you would think of a traditional baked ziti, but you guys will see that as well. I'm gonna make, so one mac and cheese, one baked ziti, then I'm gonna do coconut chicken, coconut golden chicken, that's my kids, I love that. It's like a curry, the coconut base is really, very really good. And then two vegan chilies, and then a vegan enchilada as well. So that's everything I'm doing today. So to store all this stuff, I'm gonna use, for my two pasta dishes, I'm gonna use these trays blind just with the sun um these are just it says a set of two roasting trays that, and i picked these up from home bargains for i don't know like less than a pound for two of them they don't come with lids that's cool i've got cling film and tin foil that we can use not a problem so that for them and then um for the two chilies and the coconut chicken they are going to just go into the instant pot when you cook them so i'm just like assembling them if that makes sense so i'm going to put them in these big bags these are from home bargains as well i got how many like 25 bags for like 69 pence these are really good they're actually very thick they feel good quality so i'm going to just put everything in these right on them first right on your bags first and then put them into the freezer and then that'll be them thomas will just defrost tip it into the instant pot and cook it for the time it stays and then for my enchiladas i have a glass um Pyrex dish that I'm going to use. I bought a new one from Home Bargains. I went, spent a lot of money on Home Bargains. <laughs> but I bought one from Home Bargains for $3.99. So let's get into the cooking video. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to put music over it. I'm not going to do a voiceover or anything. If you want specific recipes, let me know guys and I will just take them up for you or whatnot. So let's go.
is the end of the freezer cooking. It took, sorry, the kids are very loud. Sorry, not sorry. It took um, two hours and 25 minutes. I don't think it was bad to make all of that. And I did do one load of dishes as well and some cleaning up. So I don't think that's bad. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure and give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go and just gotta like wrap everything up and then we're good to go. Why are you standing there watching me? You're so, he's so weird, he's like just stopping me. But anyway guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want any of the recipes in particular, just let me know and I will write them out for you guys. And I will see you in my next video. I've got a video on money for you guys. And it is about how to reduce your plastic waste. I will see you then. Bye.